Will they send the runners three, two, and one out? Let's see. They do not. Line drive, it's a base hit to right center field. Gardner rounds third, he's coming home. Here's the throw, not in time. It's an RBI single for Hicks. Yankees on the board, they lead one nothing. Really good piece of hitting with runners in scoring position. And here's Torres. And Gardner cuts the bag beautifully. And the play was closer than you would have thought, especially where Robust fielded the ball. That one's driven deep to left field. There it goes! <laughs> See ya! O'Neal on the money. He made the call, and Torres delivered. 2 nothing Yanks. Ah, uh, what could go wrong now, Michael? Holy smokes. Well, how different was this, Paul, than the game winner yesterday? <laughs> oh. Finally, he's saying, finally, look at that. Yes. What a call by O'Neill. If you missed the scouting report, he said either Miguel Andujar or Glaber Torres would hit their first home run of the year in this game. First time career against the Yankees. Ross with a great slider. First strikeout. Out of the inning. Pitches around the one out walk. That is right in there. 93 with movement and Joe Ross two consecutive K's. Great slider. Joe Ross is still pretty unhittable. One clean hit. Four walks have hurt and the Yankees because of two walks in the third take the lead. Fastball's missing up through the first three innings. Now that's okay for that fastball up. It's 0-2. And Ford whose eye levels were changed there. No way to get to it. Another elevated fastball on a two strike count. Two down. Three swinging strikeouts in a row. Anything middle part of the zone, up and away, he mashes. LeMahieu just a little bit of a lean, and he's going on 3 2. Swing and a miss. Throw down there short, and it gets beyond Harrison. But because Victor Robles is charging, LeMahieu cannot advance. So it's a strike him out stolen base play. That's a run back fastball that'll right came out. So Joe Ross threw seven, a single run on two hits. Hasn't walked anybody in a while, and he is dealing now. Discomfort in his right lat going into this outing. Schwarber gets one high in the air to right. Fair, see you later. It wasn't a bat toss, it was more like a microphone drop. And he ties the game just like that. Kyle Schwarber has three home runs on the season, and all three of them have been enormous. Talked about it. Foot down early. Fastball up. He knew it. <laughs> Boy, did he know it. Look at Aaron Boone's reaction over the dugout. He knew it. Turn and burn. Second level, just like that. Mother's Day has totally changed complexion. I just want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. Um, I want to wish my mom, especially, you know, a happy Mother's Day. You know, I wouldn't be in this position, you know, getting the chance to wear these pinstripes and, you know, be where I'm at in life without all your love and support. So thank you. I come from a baseball family with my dad and brothers and grandfather all playing and, um, but my mom was was the one that was there all the time, all of our games, our biggest fans, biggest supporters. My mom still to this day is on the edge of her uh, edge of her seat every Yankee game, watching, uh, and living and dying with us. And uh, I, I've just been blessed to have you know a loving, supportive mom throughout my life. Hi, Mrs. Boone. We know you're watching. And your son's doing very well with a 17 and 16 record. A lot of moms here at the game. And Paula, I would I would think that a, a mom like Neville, 
I mean, they're so important for a player's career. The player's out there, but who's taking care of the family? Who's who's doing all the things that usually are shared for six months? It's an amazing workload that a woman takes on when you're involved in baseball. To all the moms out there, I just want to say uh, happy Mother's Day. Um, thank you to my wife for being a great mom to my two kids and to my mother um, for um, helping raise me and turn me into the man that I am today. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all of you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me in my life. Uh, couldn't ask for a better mother and a supporter, and I appreciate everything you do for me every day. Mingo Herman taking his warm-ups right into your living room. Herman is 2-2 two and two with a 4.32 ERA. She bought him a right-handed glove. I'm like, damn, he's <laughs> left-handed. At that point, I guess you don't figure it out. But he was all equipped. He was just, just the wrong hand. Swing and a miss. Schwarber down on strikes. So you set him up to go down and in with a breaking ball. All of a sudden, you see the spin there, and it just disappears when you're looking for that fastball. It'll be 8 9 and 1 in the Nationals order against Domingo Herman. Swing and a miss. Hernandez down on strikes. Third strikeout for Herman. He's won two World Series as a hitting coach one with the Yankees and one with the Nats. As Bell goes down on strikes. Swing and a miss. Gomes down on strikes, one away. The, the batters are on the defensive. Trying for a 1 2 3 inning here. And he gets it. And he gets his sixth strikeout of the game against just one walk. So the Nationals go down in order. The end of four and a half. We are halfway through here in the Bronx. It's the Yankees one, the Nationals nothing. Hit shortly and through for a base hit, and the Yankees win. Three to two, Stanton with an RBI single. The Yankees walk it off two days in a row, and they complete an outstanding homestand, winning seven, losing two, and Stanton is getting. Yankees win. The Yankees win!